why did you decide to teach us how to make labskos? Well, because that was a meal that was um, traditional in my upbringing. It was a meal that was made from seasonal vegetables. Leek, of course, our traditional uh, Welsh vegetable. Meat, not the best quality meat, because farmers um, and quarry workers weren't able to buy it. And it uh, reminds me of the winter evenings when we had huge storms and the electricity would go out. Uh, those of, the, of us who were fortunate to have electricity. But it was a, a meal that you could make without electricity. If you had a big open fire and a pot, you could make lobscouts. It was a meal that could last for three or four days. It wouldn't go off. It, we had no fridges. Um, so it would be stored in a cool place and then reheated. And the more you heated it, the thicker it got and the more tasty. So you could add anything to it the following day. Uh, yeah, it was a, a meal that I have eaten gallons and gallons of it if I, if I thought back. And uh, yeah, different people have different twists on how to make it, but I remember my mother making it and it was so tasty. Tell us about your mother, what was she like? She was uh, about five foot five, round like a barrel. Um, always cheerful, had a fantastic smile. Um, oh God, I'm, I'm filling up here thinking of it. She was a very, very good mother, hard working. Uh, she wasn't just a, a, a mother in the house. She was also somebody who worked on the farm, milking the cows with my father, uh, picking the potatoes in the field, hay making, whatever that needed to be done. My mother would be part of it. Um, but yes, very caring, um, very good cook, as all women of that age were. Uh, they could turn a very simple piece of meat or a very um, shriveled up bit of vegetable into a wholesome meal very quickly. Um, I think by today a lot of people have forgotten a lot of skills that were needed to survive in those hard times when wages were small and food wasn't as abundant as it is now. So, yeah, um, I owe her a lot, and I should have told her a lot more how much I loved her. What was her name? Gracie. Yeah, everyone knew her as Grace. Everybody had a different way of eating lobscouts. Some people would add uh, pickled red cabbage to the middle of it, others uh, pickled onions, uh, all kinds of, of quirky ways to eat it. But the basis of it was a good, wholesome, warm dish to have in the middle of winter. Uh, when you've been out looking for sheep that have been stranded under the snow, or if you've been out cleaning the cow shed on a cold, frosty morning, you'd come back and the smell of lobscouts cooking away on the stove, you're ready for it a big thick slice of homemade bread. God, I'm hungry now.